Got another organic mechanisms question for you to try. So this one's number nine. There it is there. So if you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so a slightly different electrophilic addition question here because normally you would react the um, alkene with um, either a halogen or a hydrogen halide. This time it's a mixed halogen, ICL. So the first thing I've got to do is work out the, where the, which way the dipole goes on the um, ICL molecule. That's obviously where the, the electronegativity values kick in. So if, you, if we just draw up ICL. Chlorine's more electronegative than iodine, so chlorine's going to be the slightly negative end and iodine is the slightly positive end. Okay, so the question says you can do the mechanism for the formation of one of the organic products. I'll show both of them and obviously I'll, I can use that to explain which one of the products is most likely to be formed. Okay, so the first thing that's going to happen, a pair of electrons from the pi bond in the double bond is going to be attracted to that slightly positive iodine. So we show that with a curly arrow. And that will repel the electron pair in the ICL bond completely onto that chlorine and it'll break this covalent bond by heterolytic fission. Hasn't asked you to explain the type of bond fission, sometimes it does. But we've got heterolytic fission of the ICL bond because both of the electrons in the bond um, go to the same atom, chlorine in this case. Okay, so the upshot of that is that we get these carbocation intermediates formed. So if we look at the left hand one, so this one here, the iodine has bonded to this carbon, obviously using that pair of electrons. So that would then put a positive charge on this carbon here. Obviously we've got a Cl- ion formed as well from this heterolytic fission. If we look at the right hand one, the iodine has bonded to this carbon. So we've got that methyl group and the iodine bonded to that carbon, which leaves a positive charge on that carbon there. And again, we've got the Cl- ion. So the final part of the mechanism is pair of electrons from the Cl- ion attracted to the carbon with the positive charge. And that would lead to the formation of this product and this product. So finally, if we talk about which of these products is most likely to form. So it's all to do with the relative stability of the carbocation intermediate, so these things. So if I just highlight the carbon with the positive charge, and then if we think about what type of carbocation intermediates have we got, then we can talk about which one's most likely to form. So the one on the left, the carbon with the positive charge on is bonded to one, two, three carbons directly. So this is a tertiary carbocation. This one got one, two carbons bonded directly to the positive carbon. So the one on the right is a secondary carbocation. So in terms of relative stability, the tertiary carbocation is more stable than the secondary carbocation and so therefore we're going to get more of this forming than this one and so therefore this is the product that's formed most.